Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Surfing X Tech, and in this video, we're gonna be talking again about the RTX A2000. Now, in a previous video, you saw me do a teardown of the GPU, showing you how to take it apart, put it together, a couple of tips there. Uh, but you also saw me show the Cool My GPU copper plate. Now, the copper plate or copper shim modding is not new to the enthusiast market. But instead of getting these little copper shims, right, that you have to put on individually, which I did use to cool or drop memory thermals on my RX 5700 series, the Cool My GPU team have come out with full on plates for various models 3090, 3090 Ti, 3080, 3080 Ti, 3060s, 3070s, and the A2000. Now, the A2000, you only got six memory modules that you need to keep cool, at least uh, from my understanding on the six gigabyte model, which is what I have, not the 12 gig. Um, but what is the performance? What is the actual thermal improvements that we will see? Now, here in my environment where it's hot here in Florida, my environment, my thermal situation is going to be different from yours. So I'm just going to show you my result, and then you're going to have to make the best decision for you. But Cool My GPU has uh, an assortment of various plates. Obviously, make sure it fits your model. They, they will actually post which models these plates are for. Uh, they actually sell some thermal paste as well, MX4, which is among the top as far as ranking and thermal efficiency. And one plate right now without thermal paste will cost you about $18.99. One plate with 4 grams of MX4 is about $26.99. And, of course, if you go higher with, uh, you know, 5 in bulk, it's going to get you a little bit of a discount. I am not sure, uh, but I'll leave. I'll try to leave the email or uh, a link to their email down below because if you are somebody that has multitude of cards, you know, 12, 24, 48, you know, would they be able to work a deal out with you when you buy in bulk? You will have to just find out and see. But what is the actual thermal performance? Well, first, let's look at what the old was. The old was in this particular rig with the Octominer X12 Ultra, I have the A2000 split by one card. Originally, it was the 3080, which is just ran really hot and it made one of my a2000s hit 104 c on the memory that's very bad you traditionally want to stay 94 below on the memory but i know some gpus you just can't do anything no matter even if you put a cpu heat sink on it it will go above 104 106 but if you can get it below 96 at the max and lower then you're great on the a2000 we're hitting 100 c when the 3080 was right next to it we were hitting 104 c and on the other one we were hitting 96 to 98 somewhere in there so those are our baselines right there 100 c on one 96 on the other however once we put the the plate on there and you're gonna have to do a couple things so first off i use the spatula i already had thermal paste not only for the core but for the memory i use uh thermal grizzly cryo knot again mx4 would do the job just fine and then i just use the spatula to kind of flatten it out on the gpu uh memory modules and you you can just leave it nice and smooth you don't have to make it super thick just a nice thin layer uh because the plate should be really flat if they come to you in a little bit misshapen for whatever reason just try to flatten them out as best you can uh but they come with a protective plate or a flat plate to kind of keep their shape uh which is really cool that cool my gpu does that so just flatten out the thermal paste and then just apply the copper plate and when you apply the copper plate uh, you're just going to put a bead over top of the where the memory module sits. So say a bead right down the middle here and a bead right down the middle here if the copper plate was already on these memory modules. Uh, once you put everything back together, which again I show in my teardown video, which I'll also have linked down below, um, we saw some pretty decent improvement. Right now in my system, same internal temperatures, right? Same air ambient temperatures here in my household. And we dropped from 100 C to 86C on the memory modules on one card, right? So this is my hottest card right here. And then the other card dropped from 96, 98 to 82. So I definitely think it's a viable investment, but it's just gonna be something that you have to determine for yourself and your situation, what's going on. Because honestly, you can do a really good job getting the thermals down on these GPUs by getting some really good thermal pads. Like uh, GLIDs thermal pads are really good. GLID Extreme. Um, have a really high uh, thermal conductivity or efficiency. 
Uh, minus pad eights are pretty good. Uh, GP risers is up there with GLID and Fuji Poly is another good one. So you could technically drop the thermals. And I would say instead of being at 86 on this card, I'd probably be around like 92, 90. And instead of being at 82 for this card, I'd probably be at like 90, 88, somewhere in there. Because the thermal pads can get the job done. But now I have all the thermal headroom to do additional mods. And you can see on the PCB of this A2000, there's a lot of room available. Various components, not just a shunt mod, but I'm looking over here as well, in which you can connect um, various you know, inductors, uh, caps, uh, maybe some input filtering, whatever. So there's some room there, and I now have the thermal headroom to do that. Will I do that? We'll have to wait and see. Get subscribed and stay up to date with the channel. But I just wanted to share the results, right? So dropped from 100C on the MEM on one card to 86, and from 96, 98 to 82 on the other. It's definitely a worthwhile investment. Yes, you could probably get a whole entire pack of thermal pads for cheaper than what one copper plate will cost you. Um, but I, in my opinion, for my situation, being in hot Florida, I now have that thermal headroom to where I don't have to worry. So make the decision that's best for you, your setup, your configuration. And that's all I wanted to share with you. But do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And I will catch you all in the next one. Take care.